Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find warm leads in your market in just a few minutes. If you're the founder of a startup or of a SaaS company, or if you're in sales or in marketing, you know that creating a list of leads and contacting them could be uh, very long. It's a, it's a very manual work to do and you need to hire people or spend a few hours or spend a few days uh, on this. And most of the time you don't have the best prospect, right? Because if you really want people that are very active or warm in your market, you need to spend a lot of time trying to find signs that they are active or warm. And so Gojiberry is flipping that. Um, we find warm leads based on your ICP. And what we do is we have an agent, an AI agent that is looking for different kinds of interactions with your competitors, um, with specific content. We also look at triggers like companies that raise funds or um, all these kind of signals. That could mean your uh, prospect is very active and probably looking to buy right now. So how can you launch an agent that is going to handle um, all the steps of the, um, the journey? So the lead research, the enrichment, the campaigns, all of that. What you need to do is you need to go on Godiberry AI and you can click here or on start for free. You'll be able to create an account. And once you started your free trial, what you need to do is uh, create an AI agent. So you're going to arrive here on this platform where you can see that I have my autopilot agent uh, that is running. What you need to do is you need to click on launch agent and it's going to bring you to the ICP. Here, um, I have an ICP that is already created. So this is your ideal customer. You need to fill the different um, criteria that your ideal customer have. So for example, the job titles, the industries, the size of the company, the location and the company types. So let's say for us, we're looking to uh, contact or find founders, CMOs, owners, head of sales, co-founders, CEO, right? It's our target market. Uh, we can look at different kind of industries. Uh, we do not have like a very specific industry, even if we have way more customers in the uh, tech space and software space. Uh, we have also uh, a lot of customers in those different uh, industries. We can also uh, choose the company size. So uh, for Gojiberry, we focus more on uh, small companies, startups, scale-ups, and SMBs. So not very uh, enterprise uh, companies. Target location. So for us, uh, it could be United States, Canada, United Kingdom, but also Europe that we have on another agent. And company types. So here it's anything that is not public or government. So you can put all your uh, criteria here uh, and then here we arrive in signals. So you have the best practices that uh, are here that you can look at. What we really suggest is to have um, between five and 15 signals. Uh, 10 is a good number, 12 is a good number, uh, five is a bit low. Um, you can see on my account that I have uh, like 14 signals, right? So six categories. The first one is your company. So you look at, um, uh, we, we look at people interacting with your company. So if you have a company page that is relevant, you can put it here. Um, we can also look at engagement and interest. So it means that we'll look at people in your ICP that are interacting with some specific content, like content talking about cold email, lead generation here. You can add different keywords and we are going to track uh, who interact with those keywords. Expert and creators is the one that we track the most, right? Uh, so we track um, a few people that are talking about um, sales, uh, outreach, um, pros like prospects, finding prospects or uh, signals. Like how do you um, find bank signals or uh, this kind of stuff. And so we have all the profiles here. You can put any profile that you like. Uh, some from influencers or your profile uh, could work or even someone from your team uh, or the founder of a competitor, anything that is a profile can work. Then we have change and trigger events. Um, this one is very interesting. It's not based on interactions, but it's based on uh, change and trigger. Um, so people that recently changed jobs uh, is a good one. Also companies that just raised funds and also, we can track people that are very active in your ICP. So people that post content every month 
and that have uh, higher reply rates in general. We also can look at trigger and events. So you just feel here uh, different LinkedIn groups that you think could be interesting. And we are going to look at people that are um, that recently joined this group. Uh, and for LinkedIn events, it's people that are attending a webinar, a specific webinar. So you can add several keywords for events. You can even uh, add a link like to a specific event if you like, and it's going to look for uh, people participating. And the last one is competitor and company engagements, right? So what you can do here is you can track any company uh, that you like. You just need to put a company link. So you can put direct competitors that you have. You can put companies that are serving the same customers uh, as you are. So for example, um, Koji Berry, we could, we could add HubSpot here. So we're not competing with HubSpot at all, but um, people that interact or that use HubSpot could be great customers for us. So we could add HubSpot here. This is an example. And once you filled uh, the, the signals, uh, you have uh, 10 signals, let's say, you can go here in leads management, and here you just create a list or uh, add the leads to a new one uh, or to a, um, a current one that you already created, and you click on edit agent or create agent. What it's gonna do uh, already, uh, mine was already said, but it's gonna uh, create your agent, it's gonna appear here, and so what's gonna happen is, every day your agent is gonna look at different signals that you indicated and it's gonna send you the leads that it found directly in your dashboard, directly in your leads inbox. So here, uh, you'll have access to different leads uh, that you can filter. So for example, if I want the best leads, I go to AI score ready to engage and those are the one that fits the most, right? Uh, and if I click on an AI score, I can find um, like, okay, this lead, 2.3 on 3, uh, why? Because co-founder and CEO is in the US tech industry, fits all ICP criteria, okay? So this one is pretty good. Um, and I can check like um, uh, all other, uh, uh, if, if I want to, to see a bit of feedback. Uh, I can also get the email address to um, of the lead, right? Um, um, if I need it, or I can go to the LinkedIn profile, I can, uh, send them to a, a specific campaign I created uh, to uh, send them messages uh, or to, to connect with them. Um, so yeah, this is the fastest way today to get from uh, zero to uh, connect with leads or get sales, right? Because uh, it handles the most long and manual part, which is how do you find leads that are very active right now in my market? And also how do I contact those leads? it handles the whole process. Um, obviously, uh, you can choose the message you'd like to send to those people. Uh, the goal is not for them to receive like an AI generated message that is very basic. So you can tweak the message, you can uh, create an entire human message to send, or you can reach out to them manually. It's also possible, right? Um, so if you'd like to try GojiBerry and see what it can find for you and, and co contact your first warm leads, what you can do is you go on the website you start a free trial and um, just let me know uh, if you have any feedbacks. Bye-bye.